I just want to go through a quick run through of a product called Proxmox. Uh, it's a virtualization platform that's pretty easy to set up. Um, initially, to set up the CD, it'll go through the booting process, uh, you get your normal end user license agreement. Uh, click next after that. Uh, here, you have to set up your uh, country, your time zone, uh, your keyboard layout. Uh, once you select those properly, click the next button. Uh, here you need to set the uh, root password or the main password that you want to have for your Proxmox installation. Uh, and then you confirm that same password and then you enter your email address. Uh, here you put in the uh, host name. Uh, here it needs to actually be a fully qualified domain name. So basically it just needs to have a uh, name of the server. Uh, you can put a you know internal if you want with a dot local. Uh, if you have an external uh, registration, you actually put a .com if you want or .net. Um, this is just so the system when it sets up, it, it has its own uh, fully qualified domain name for there. Here you set up your IP address. It can be a regular standard one inside of your network, as uh, well as a NetMask, Gateway, and DNS server. Uh, click Next button and it will go through the continuation of the installation. Uh, I've kind of zipped through this a little bit just to make it seem a little bit faster. Uh, you can probably set this up in about five minutes when you're done. Uh, once all that's completed, hit Reboot. Uh, when you reboot, your system will come up uh, back online to a regular, uh, I guess, grub or type of uh, boot screen. Uh, when that screen's up and it uh, continues going through, it'll create an RSA key. And at that point, it'll actually give you a web uh, IP address and the port. Uh, the most important thing to remember is the port number on this. And